Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So this is a super, super exciting video because it's my first official episode of my Animal Rescue LP. The concept is that we're going to be playing out the Animal Rescue mod, which enables you to play with an Animal Rescue career. This is Hazel and she's going to be the protagonist sim. First up, this is where we live. This is our house and this is the little animal shelter we've got attached to our house. And this is the indoor section and the animals can go in and out of these little doors here. And what I've said is that we're actually going to be looking after as many different types of animals as we can. Foxes, badgers, squirrels, rabbits, deer, which involve a mixture of CC, but also being clever with cats and dogs, cats. And then just to give you a bit of a mini house tour, this is our bedroom. Over here is our kitchen and dining area. And we've got a desk here too. And then over here is our bathroom. That speed builder going to be linked in the video and down in the description below but we haven't actually given Hazel the career yet so I'm just going to get her to search for her career okay and this is what it comes up with and what the career essentially involves is going out and finding strays and adopting them then we have to train them up and then try and find them a home and part of the process as well it might be to take them to the vet let's click this button and see what happens okay and it says work officially starts in three days and maybe that will take us to a rabbit hole I'm not too sure basically most of the job is just these tasks down here and we don't actually have a dog at the minute but I have created a stray animal that I want to go and try and find by going to a dog hangout spot that basically means that it's gonna bring a load of stray dogs to the lot okay so here we are it's raining which is a bit sad so we're just gonna hang around here maybe add some bird seed and wait for the animals to arrive okay Okay, so this little lady showed up. She is a vixen, a fox, and I actually downloaded her off the gallery. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get our friendship up with her just to a level where we can adopt her because she is technically a stray. And then we will take her to the vet and train her up and take care of her. Yeah, I think we're just playing with her at the minute and giving her lots of pets and cuddles. Okay, so I had a little bit of trouble adopting her, so I just did it off camera and I've taken Vixen home and settled her into her little enclosure in our little shed area. And we're just gonna get to know her, give her a few cuddles, let her settle in, and then I think tomorrow we're gonna take her to the vet because the reason we adopted her, obviously, is because she is injured. So tomorrow we're gonna make sure that she's okay. So for the rest of this evening, I'm just gonna get Hazel to make herself some dinner and then get into bed and I'll meet you tomorrow morning where we can head over to the vets to make sure that our new friend is okay and gets taken care of. So just to be clear, I have put our new fox into the little shed enclosure and that's where I'm gonna put all the wild animals basically and we're also gonna put the small animals in there and then if we get any cats and dogs then they can live in the house. So just so I don't disappoint you and you were hoping that we could get to cuddle them on the sofa, that's how I'm gonna manage it so it kind of makes sense slightly more realistic that way. I hope that's okay. Looks like our new fox is snuggled in and resting because obviously she's injured so she's going to see the vet tomorrow but she's about to have a good sleep now to gain her strength and I think we might name her tomorrow and I've got a name in mind. So we're going to leave these guys here for the evening, let them get some sleep and then we'll pick things up tomorrow morning. Okay, so it's another morning. Hazel's just woken up and we're gonna get her some breakfast, give her a bath, do some laundry, and then go and give our little vixen some attention and take her on a walk. And we're gonna walk her to the vets, basically. So in case you didn't watch the Machinima prequel that I made, her high school sweetheart, Devon, is actually the new vet in town, but Hazel doesn't know this because she hasn't yet visited the vets. But just for a little bit of context, Devon and Hazel actually grew up together and they were best friends as kids, high school sweethearts, and they used to search for animals, especially injured animals, and rescue them together. And they both had the dream growing up of of one day running an animal shelter together with Devon being the vet and obviously Hazel organising the animal rescue side of things. So, and Devon actually broke up with Hazel in order to study vet science in a university very far away 
and since then they've lost touch with each other and they're not really friends anymore and then Hazel's dad actually died so she was really really upset that Devon who was basically her best friend growing up wasn't able to support her through that and instead she relies on her friend Erin and we'll meet Erin later on in the episode but now it's been six years since Devon left so there's a lot of tension there's a lot of unresolved issues and emotions going on there so it's going to be really really awkward to meet up with him and discover that he's going to be our vet someone that we're going to have to work alongside and see very frequently in the animal rescue career so that will be interesting so they're now arriving at the vets and i've prepared a little mission of us so we can see how the conversation between hazel and devon will go so i hope you like it Okay, so after her conversation with Devon, Hazel is feeling pretty confused and upset right now. So after taking the fox home, she decides to go for a little walk to her favourite spot. And if you saw the Machinima prequel, it's actually a place she used to go to very regularly with Devon. So she goes to sit by the lake and have a think. But when she's there, she actually finds an injured baby bunny, which she decides to take home. And we've named the bunny Parsley, and it's a little girl. And Hazel just has to make sure that she's all settled in and cosy, gets her lots of treats and attention and makes sure that she's well looked after. And the object I've used to add rabbits to my game is actually a CC object in case you were wondering. So after Parsley's all settled in, Hazel decides to do some training with the fox because that's how we get paid in this career. We, I think we roughly get around 20 Samoans for every few minutes that we spend dog training. So by the end of it, Hazel actually ended up teaching the fox to sit and we also did some heel work as 
well. And whilst I show some footage of that, I'll just explain that Hazel was really, really surprised and upset to see Devon at the vets and also to realise that she now has to work with him pretty regularly. And Devon feels really bad about the fact that they had obviously lost touch. I think it happened because university is tough, it's very demanding, and I think a medical degree like vet science is even more so. And so he had a really, really intense few years at university with all of his work as well as working as a vet's assistant at the same time as doing his degree and I think he will have also had a few girlfriends you know not really really soon after breaking up with Hazel obviously but they were away for a long time and it's hard to stay in touch with someone at that distance and he ended up seeing other girls he might not necessarily have cared about them as much as he did Hazel but whilst he was seeing them it's only natural that he stopped talking with an ex-girlfriend as much and that they sort of drifted away which is really really sad but from Hazel's point of view she feels hurt that he didn't want to keep her in his life especially when she was having to deal with the death of her father and so that's why she was much more dismissive of him and I tried to sort of get across that Devon was really really eager to make up with Hazel and happy for her and her achievements and really wants to be a part of her life again whereas Hazel is pretty upset with him and not quite sure how she feels about him and how he feels about her and yeah she's just very very confused and hurt right now but after the dog training session the fox actually had her babies so we have three baby fox cubs which are so so cute I hope you like them and I've named them pancake pumpkin and mushroom pancake is a boy pumpkin is also a boy and mushroom is a girl and I have given all of the animals in this episode food themed names inspired by my friend common mushroom on twitter who suggested a load of food food themed names and I also wanted to point out that I think Pumpkin is actually a little bit smaller than the other two cubs and it looks like he might actually be a runt so Hazel is going to keep an eye out for him and make sure that he's okay and that he's staying healthy and being treated right by the rest of the litter but obviously she's really excited by the arrival of the cute fox cubs and so she's going to take care of them make sure that they've got everything they need in their enclosure give them lots of love and cuddles and make sure that they're okay with her her. and then she's gonna go and have some leftover dinner do some housework and go and ring Erin because after seeing Devon she is definitely in need of some girl chat so Erin suggests that they go to the local pub in town to see a musician who's performing there so Hazel is gonna go and get dressed and get ready and then we are going to meet Erin there 